This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, in today's uh, tutorial video in my 2017, I'm going to show you how to float an object in water. Okay, here we go. So let's start by creating our ocean, and things have changed around a lot since 2014, so everything is in a different location. So we're going to go into our FX menu, we're going to go to fluids, we're going to go to ocean, and we're going to hit that option box. And we're going to go to edit and reset settings, and we're going to click on create ocean, okay? Which will give us something like this. It's already selected as you can see, so I can hit R to scale it, and I can scale that up if I like, basically to any position I want, okay? Now, with that selected, if we go into our attribute editor and hit Control A to do that, you'll see that you'll have an ocean shader and you'll have an ocean shader group. Okay. Now, if you go in here, you have ocean attributes and you can change all sorts of settings. The speed of the wave, the height of the waves, you can create foam, all that kind of cool stuff. Okay. So have some fun with that. All right. So with this ocean selected, we're going to go into our animation menu. So I'm just quickly going to go to my modeling menu and I'm going to go up to windows and go to classic. So it will show my animation slider here. We'll just uh, close the outliner and close the attribute editor. And let's see, we're going to set this to, I don't know, 300 frames. Okay. Now let's just hit play and see if something happens. You can see some stuff going on there, so I'm just going to move that a little bit. It's kind of hard to see maybe for you guys, but I can see some uh, some movement going on there. Okay, so just to show you that that is the case, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. We're going to jump into, I don't know, we'll do metal ray. Not that. This one, sorry. Let's see, we'll do uh, mental ray. We'll quickly set up some settings here. We'll do physical light and sky. We'll do uh, bump the quality a bit. And in the common tab, we'll do HD 1080. Okay, hit close and render current frame. That's a test that I did. So we'll give this a sec. It is water, so uh, that may take a while, but you can see that it's uh, coming up nicely and uh, it's looking good. Okay, so we'll uh, let that play out for a sec.
Well guys, as you can see, the render turned out nicely, uh, especially considering we didn't pay too much attention to the render settings. So uh, now that we know that that looks okay, we're gonna introduce our floating object. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. And we're just gonna take something simple, like a polygon cube, okay? We'll uh, hit R, scale that up a little bit so we can see what's going on. And let's see what happens uh, floating-wise if we don't do anything to the cube just yet, okay? So I'm gonna hit play, and you can see that the um, ocean is responding. Hopefully you can see that. I'll hit four for wireframe mode, so you can probably see it better. There's definitely some action going on there, but the cube is not responding at all, okay? So we're gonna hit five to go back. We're gonna hit stop. We're gonna jump back to frame one. We're gonna make sure our uh, cube is selected or your boat or buoy or whatever it is, okay? And then we're going to go back to the FX menu. We're going to go into the Fluid tab. And we're going to go to Create Boat and go to Make a Boat. Okay. Now, when you hit that option box, you have the option to set free transform. You don't want that. So we're just going to hit Make Boats. All right. Now, you would think that nothing happened. However, if you jump to frame one and we start to play the uh, simulation, you'll see that suddenly the cube went down slightly and it's, and I'll try to get in close so you can see it through wall. You can see that the cube is now moving and floating, okay? So that's all there's to it. Uh, there are a couple of settings you can play with if you want. You know, you have the, uh, the expression going on here, your locator, and your locator deals with the movement, um, you know, the shape and so forth. So that's all stuff you can play with. But this is the basics of it, so uh, you know I encourage you to experiment with that, see what you come up with, and if you have any questions, let me know. All right. Well, that's all there's to it, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe. Okay. See you guys next time. Bye.